Let's talk about those squash vine borers. That's all I mean, like, I could just end the video, right? Right there. Let's just talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I just did. <clears throat> Papa Sammy, my father, called me and said, let me tell you what I did to save my squash. He poured hot sauce, and if he didn't have that, he put Bengay in the holes that they had drilled in his squash plants. So I'm like, if it worked for my 80-year-old dad, the man is brilliant, right? It'll work for me. So I start digging around. I can't find any Bengay, but I did find some Louisiana Tabasco hot sauce. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's too hot for me. Surely going to be too hot for that little squishy bug, right? So I take my bottle. I shake it up real good. And I pour one or two drops in every little board hole that I see. Then I come back and I cover it with a thick layer of Vaseline. Well, I'm hoping that the hot sauce hurts him bad enough that he tries to come back out the hole that was bored and he suffocates. Either way, I do want to show you what the plants now look like that have been hit. I'll show you the damage and then I'll show you how much they're still producing. So let's go out to the garden real quick so I can finish pruning and picking squash and get out of this heat. We just wanted to share real quick and congratulate to all the other scholarship winners through Camp D Field of Dreams and the USDA NRCS scholarship program we are all working in. Stay tuned. Oh, you guys are gonna get to see me treat for squash vine board. You see that hole right there? Look at the size of that. I just came out. After I got through with that quick little video, some of the clips, finished what I was doing. And I noticed that this plant had been bored into. All right, so we're ready. See that hole? Get your hot sauce in it. Let it sink in for a minute. Ooh, I can smell the habaneros and that. I mean, this stuff is really good. I'd love to get some more, but I don't have the young man's... Uh, information it was a, a young black gentleman i think he was from livingston parish he makes this huey's hot sauce if you guys know him tell him to reach out to samantha at starkey farmstead i'd love some more hot sauce and just paint it with lots of vaseline like i mean don't get skimpy vaseline's cheap so i mean like just shove it on there smother smother them put the hay back around your root system because you can see the roots Right, I don't want the sun to hit those. Roots never thrive when sun can hit them, guys. It kills them. That'll weaken your plant too, which is another reason you deep mulch. So you guys have a blessed day. There's your example on how to put your hot sauce and your Vaseline into the holes from your squash vine borers. Okay, before my husband gets over here, he's trying to cut grass in between the rain. These are the same plants that were hit with the, uh, squash vine borer that I was showing you earlier all of these have been hit and we do have some root rot but I'll be honest with you guys that can be handled not really worried about it. it's been getting a tremendous amount of rain uh, I think my husband and I just went over there and looked we got another two inches after the video we made earlier today on the tomatoes and the fungus problem but all of these plants have been hit by the vine borers and look look at that so just put your hot sauce, smear on your Vaseline, because why would I pull this plant up that I treated earlier? Because this is the one we treated, see? There's all the Vaseline around the root system, or the stalk, and now look at that. I don't wanna lose this plant. So if your plants are healthy already, go ahead and uh, treat them best you can, leave them in the ground. If they're not producing like this little bitty one, if this gets hit, and it probably will, I'll just yank it up. But I'm gonna do everything I can to save these ones that are producing for me. If that plant has not produced any fruit for you yet, <clears throat> excuse me, and it gets hit hard by your squash bug borers or your cucumber beetles, are you starting to notice a little disease on it and it's still not producing? 
pull it up. Pull it up, cut your losses. Why would I leave anything diseased in there when I have four just tremendous squash plants that are giving me, and I, I'm not exaggerating, eight to 10 squash a day. I don't even know how they grow from this big to picking size overnight. I love it. Like, I get so excited. But I'm not gonna risk those. They've already been hit. But because they are so healthy and the soil underneath them, for whatever the difference is with that soil and other places in my new garden, that soil has been, it is set up for them. That was perfect to put those plants there. God knew exactly what he was doing when he directed my, my path that way. Because they're producing enough those four that I don't need any of these other squash plants. And every day they're growing another half a foot to a foot in size. And I'm having to trim them off, back them up, take the little end off that grows. I don't even know what you call that yet, but I'll learn. So this is a learning experience, a sharing experience. Um, we have a Facebook page, Starkey Farmstead. Please go post some pictures of your garden. If you're watching this video and you're having any problems or you try what we suggest and it works, please comment. This is all about learning, working together, and creating a like-minded community because we're all going to row in each other's boats, guys, and everybody's going to finish together. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we just want to give you an opportunity. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or Savior, we would like to encourage you to repeat this prayer out loud. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Wash me in his blood. Rejuvenate me, Lord. Help me to make better choices and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day. And go out there, prosper, and multiply.